Okay, so you probably click on this video to have those fancy transitions. And what have I told you? You can actually use them with one simple click. And today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to actually download or find the uh, presets so that you don't have to create those transitions yourself and you can use them very quickly. So we're gonna be actually downloading them, um, then we're gonna be importing into Premiere Pro and then I'm gonna show you how to actually use them in real world situation where you want to actually use them on one of your projects. So let's go into our PC. While we're on YouTube, we're actually gonna find really cool transitions here on YouTube. So if you go for um, preset transitions and we have Premiere Pro, I myself use the presets a lot because they actually make it so much faster. Okay, so we're actually gonna be going and going on the first one that you see here. It has almost a million views, but there's a preset pack that you have like presets that you can use and there's more than one here so it's gonna be really cool and I actually use those myself. You just go on there, I'm not gonna have to show you guys the whole video. All you have to do is go over to his download link which is really cool. You just download it and then, well I already have it but you, what you would have to do is buy now and since it says it's free all you have to do is select the country Type in your email, which I already have, and then download. When you have it downloaded, you have to go on your Gmail account or whatever your um, email would be. You can actually go and download product. Once you download it, or actually you're gonna be redirected here, you have five downloads, so I guess it's unlimited anyway, because it's free. All you're gonna have to do is show the folder. I'm gonna actually go and put it here, right here. And all you have to do, open, get the transitions out into the desktop so that you can actually import them. So now is the quick question, how do I import them into Premiere Pro? Okay, let's go into our Premiere Pro right now. All you have to do is right click on presets, import presets, find them like I have it on desktop right now. So we're gonna have to go on desktop and orange 83 transition pack, open. And then this file that shows up, just open it. From what you see, it should be right here. So as you can see, there's right here we have the uh, transitions now. To show you guys how this works, I'm actually gonna import some things like from Tenerife and import here and make the transitions so you can see. Okay, so I imported two clips from our Tenerife journey this summer and by no means they're really well edited. I just did a like really quick color grades just so that they don't look that horrible. But anyway, as you can see, there's one clip from Moscow and then one clip from Pyramids. What I'm gonna do is actually post a transition between them. How this works is you have the main preset and then you have the uh, smooth slides, spins and everything around. How are we gonna do this? Basically, shift up or down just to make it in the middle between the two clips. Now, let's say we want to have it like it was there, 20 frames. So we're gonna have to cut it 10 frames on the left, so shift and two times we're gonna click left, C to cut, V to turn to normal mouse. Once again, shift and down, and then two times, shift and right two times. That creates 10 frames on this side, 10 frames on this one. Together, they form 20 frames. If you nest them together, that's a 20 frame file right here. That's where our transition is gonna go. So with this preset pack, you actually have to go with the main preset first, which is gonna create something funny. In a second, you will see that it's gonna like create something really funny here. Um, but this is really good, like that's not a problem. Now you pick which one you want. Let's say we want to have it slide left to right. So smooth slide, put it over the nested sequence. And from there, it's pretty much it. This is how simple it is. This is how simple the transitions are. Okay, so the final product of our smooth transitions, our preset, is actually something like this. And I think this is something that we were all looking for, the, an easy way to make those fancy transitions. And as you can see, they were great. And they're really quick to apply. So thanks to this, you can save a lot of time editing while having a really good um, overall look some people actually like to have a lot of them. I actually tend to like step down a little bit from them 
But anyway, it's a very good tool to have at your disposal. It's really quick, really efficient. You can always check for more transitions like glitch effects and everything. I myself use them and they're a really great tool for your videos. So this is gonna be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope this helps in your creative field. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again, and I'll see you next time.